Well, new at 10, a story of revival that's not without controversy. In Snowflake, Arizona, when two of the town's largest employers closed, hundreds of residents lost their jobs. Tonight, we take a look at one business that brought growth back to the town in more ways than one. Just a three hour drive from Phoenix, it's one of the largest marijuana farms in North America. Located in Snowflake, Arizona, Copper State Farms began operating in September 2016 after Fife Symington IV, son of the former Arizona Governor Fife Symington III, wanted to use his years of experience in greenhouse agriculture to tackle the medicinal marijuana industry. After about 15 years, I was looking for my next project, so to speak, and uh, uh, and it was right around the same time that the what they call the Green Revolution was starting to happen in the United States and specifically in Arizona. Symington's business venture came at a good time for Snowflake, according to Barb Hansen, the director of quality assurance at Copper State Farms. It really changed the, the town overall. A Snowflake resident since 2009, Hansen saw the town transform when the paper mill shut down in 2012 and the farm where Copper State now resides closed in 2015. I used to work at this facility for a couple of years when it was um, greenhouse tomatoes and cucumbers. And when the facility closed down, it had a very um, significant impact on the economy of the town. It was 150 jobs that were lost instantly. But not everyone in Snowflake was thrilled with the idea of the farm opening. During an August 2016 public hearing and special town council, neighbors voiced concerns, saying they were worried about drug abuse, addiction, and the message the farm would send to children. After hearing both sides, the town council voted 4-3 to approve a special use permit for Copper State Farms. It's a 4-3 vote and both special use permits have passed. And when the farm opened, Symington says he made it his mission to hire employees who previously worked at the greenhouse, including Barb. That summer of 2016, there was just my car in the parking lot. <laughs> it was sitting, me sitting here alone doing my due diligence and, and trying to get a special use permit uh, to convert this facility. And um, the day that we got that special use permit, I started uh, accepting resumes. And uh, in short order, we went from you know zero employees to today we have 350 employees here in Snowflake and another 250 or so uh, in Phoenix. Copper State is now one of the largest employers in the town of more than 6,000 people. The farm and its workers produce 200,000 dry pounds of cannabis a year. Sonnington says they're now the largest wholesaler of adult use and medicinal marijuana in the state. We started with five acres of the greenhouse in production and now we have all 40 acres in production. So ABC 15 followed up with some of the Snowflake residents who were at the August 2016 hearing who opposed the farm opening. And while they still aren't all fans of a marijuana farm right there in town, they did say Copper State has created jobs.